Hey, what's up? Welcome to Hard and Fellow Yugi. Today we're doing uh, bandless predictions. I'm Shay. I'm Dylan. I'm Carson. We're going to start off with uh, band cards. So, Dylan, take it away. All right, starting off with our band cards. Um, easily one of the cards that has to get hit this band list. Smoke Grenade of the Thief. You mean Go confiscation? Oh, yeah. Literally just free confiscation for Infernoble Knights. But uh, Smoke Grenade of the Thief, it's a equip card that basically when the equip card is destroyed, you get to draw... Or, an opponent discards a card. And uh, we all know how much Ninja for Noble Knights, or Noble Knights in general, love equip cards. So uh, we all know they've been abusing the ever loving crap out of this past format. And basically, just not having a hand doesn't let you play. I right. agree. Next up on the list, we got True King of All Calamities. Basically, it tells you no. You can't attack, you can't use effects. Um, I believe you can use it twice. So yep, yeah, because you get two materials on it. I mean, it's just really strong. Like, everyone knows it's a boss monster. It has negate. Well, it's not really a negate. It's more of just a no, but, you know. Yeah, it's basically, like, just an overarching negate. But, yeah, I yeah. mean, we've... Not even just in current format with Virtual World and whatnot, but, I mean, any deck that could get into rank 9s would and bring out True King All Calamities, and it was a problem then. And have it's ever... just more so now. Have you ever played Uno? Yeah. Where, like, there's the skip card? Yeah. Ah, yeah, there we go. This is like two of, having two of those. <laughs> so, uh, the next card we have here is uh, Dragon Buster Destruction Sword. You know, oh, Buster no. Blader fans, uh, rip to you, but uh, Union Carrier really fucked your deck over. So, uh, basically, use Union Carrier. If you have anything that has same types or attributes, put this in your deck, equip it, your opponent can't special summon monsters from the extra deck, and that's pretty good. It's yeah, also I'm... a tuner. We know how much everyone uses our extra deck in this current metagame. Like, not, almost every deck. Yeah, literally every deck brings brings out extra deck monster in some way, shape, or form. And just losing that ability to bring them out, again, it's like not being able to play a portion of the game. Especially when people equip it to uh, Boral uh, Load Savage Dragon, which already has negates on it. So you add negates upon not even being able to special summon from the extra deck. Uh, you know, yeah. it's a little broken. <laughs> Strong, yeah. That's fair. Alright, now, onto our limited cards. I'm going to start us off. Uh, technically, we kind of have two cards for the slot. We have Quick Launch and Striker Dragon. It's more so, we all know Dragon Link, ne Dragon Link needs to get hit some way, shape, or another. And I feel like either hitting Quick Launch or Striker Dragon is one of the easiest ways to do it. Honestly, you can go 50-50 with them because they're both equally as powerful. Quick launch is just so broken because half the name right there. It's quick play spell. So you could do it your turn. You could do it your opponent's turn. Like you could do it standby phase right away immediately when your set going second starts. Like and it's not once per turn. It's just too easy. Yeah. Compared to like other cards. Mm hmm That's why if it was at limited, it wouldn't be as bad because, you know, the once per turn thing, so then yeah. I don't think it's bannable, but definitely limited is is fair. Yeah. Hit that consistency. Speaking of consistency, I was about to and, say uh, uh, <laughs> a little bit of a broken card. Uh, you know, I, I like to play my dinosaurs, but I know uh, Miscellaneous Aerosaurus, Aerosaurus, is a little broken myself. Okay. <laughs> I know that. Uh, just put out monsters and keep putting them out and saying, "Hey, my dinosaurs are fine here." Hey, have you like, read Miscellaneous Aerosaurus? I haven't. <laughs> I just keep putting it down, and people will surrender. But, uh, <laughs> but anyways, yeah, so discard it. Your opponent can't affect your dinosaur monsters, and then you could use it to plus even further by banishing it and special summoning and keeping your combos going. It's just too easy to build something crazy and not be affected. Like, they can debure you, and they, like, you get the token and keep your monsters. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's too much. All right, and then going into our next card, we have Heavy Metal Foes Electromite. Uh... The reason I can see this coming back, I've never once seen this card, like, you know, in action. I've only been competitive for, like, the past year or so. But we all know Blazing Vortex is coming out within the next month or so. So I feel like it's really justifiable saying Konami's going to want to push that product. So they're going to bring back, you know, Electromite, bringing up hype for Heavy Metal Foes. And I feel like it's a really safe bet with the ban list. Okay. And plus, pendulums really aren't that strong right now, anyways. No, they're not. Next up, we have Thunder Dragon Colossus. Pretty solid card. 
as long as it's not at three, you know, I think it's fine. That's why it's on the limited list. You know, if it can't do, it's like, if it can't stack, I don't really think it's that bad. So, um, basically, what it is, is uh, you don't need to use polymerization to get it out, first of all. Cards cannot be added from the main deck. Uh, to the hand, except hand, by drawing them? Except by drawing them. And then, if this card would be destroyed, you can banish one Thunder Dragon from your graveyard instead. So, it has basically three protections, plus you're not letting them draw cards. So, it's like a... Having to roll. Yeah. Yeah. We all know Thunder Dragons. I mean, we haven't seen them doing much. They've barely had any performance here in the TCG yeah. on online events. Even local tournaments we've done just online. We've never once seen Thunder Dragons. I, so, I feel I like know. giving them back Colossus while all these other decks are running, like, full power... I feel like it's fair to give them at least one Colossus back. So we have Orcus Heart Pourer. Again, just as I was saying with Thunder Dragon Colossus, who's seen Orcus do anything as of late? Uh, I see, uh, what's what's that one card? Uh, Gersu get used in other decks. Oh yeah, like how I use <laughs> Gersu in my generator deck? Yeah, so that's what I've seen. <laughs> no, but like honestly, Orcus has been one of those decks that... Again, it was in the era of Thunder Dragon and Sky Striker being at their prime, which is something I never got to see. But, I mean, especially playing against it on a few occasions and seeing how Sky Strikers and Thunder Dragons are faring, I feel like it's okay to bring at least Harpoor back to one. On to our singular semi limited. I know a lot of people just have disdain for semi limited, but this one makes sense to me Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon. So basically, I'm just going to quickly say it. It's got its errata. It's hard once per turn now. It doesn't need to be full power, but I feel like this is a card that it can be semi-limited and it makes sense. Even though it's not like malicious where it needs one more of it to work, I just feel like this would be like the perfect consistency for it. It's it's not too bad anymore with the hard once per turn. That's basically it. Yeah, Not too much to say on that one. It's just kind of a... Yeah. All right, bringing us into our unlimited cards, we have... Starting off, Spiral Quick Fix. Now, we all know Spiral Quick Fix from the Tayday and previous formats, seeing it uh, literally be able to look at top card of your deck, call it, and then literally get rid of it. We've seen shenanigans it can pull off, but ever since they lost, wasn't it Master Plan? And Resort? Yeah, after losing those, you and don't this. see it. Yeah. <laughs> And I feel like giving them Quick Fix yeah. doesn't make them too powerful again, but still just enough to where they can at least be rogue and somewhat playable. I think we talked about this before, of it being like the weakest one to bring back. That's why it's yeah. able to come back at two, is because it's probably the weakest one. The other unlimited card we have is uh, Sekka's Light. So, I know some people are going to be like, alright, hey, hey, hold up here. What are you saying? Giving them Pot of Greed back? Yeah. That's what I'm saying. But think about it. How many decks need their spells and traps? Mainly spells. A lot of them. Yeah, all of them. Yeah. Basically, anything that's going to fusion. A lot of, like, any of the decks that are doing well ritual right now. I mean, like, not every deck needs them, but it's very... A lot of them use them. them. Yeah. And so that's why I think this could come back. Them. Just to, like, for a format. Just to see how it goes. Yeah. Just to see what happens. You know, why not? But yeah, so basically, you can't use other spells and traps in your deck with this, so it's just yeah. very restrictive. So I think with the format is being crazy already, card, is that why this was, card was limited? Is there a way around it, or is it just like period? Like that's all it is. No, it's basically just having Pot Agree three times in your deck. Cool. All right, so this next section is a few cards that we had on our minds. We just didn't know where to place them, or we just didn't think Konami would really do too much with them. You know, so it was like we didn't fully agree on it like the rest of the list, so we put them all here. And uh, Carson, start us off. All right, so the first card we have is Link Cross. And, I mean, honestly, it just needs to be hit. Uh, personally, because it just has a lot of combos. You can create a token, and then, I mean, the token is still useful. Like, I mean, it's just a really good extender. Or, I mean, really not even an extender. It's just like a solid base for your combos, so. Yeah, I mean, this falls... I have on it. I haven't... I haven't really seen too much play of it, you know? Yeah, I mean, this falls right in with Halka Fibrax. Like, the reason I feel like, you know, they are really strong cards, and I feel like they do need to be hit in some way, shape, or form, 
I feel like they're just still too new in the TCG to actually get hit yet. All right, so in, in my mind, I had this card, you know, and I, I, I maybe I am a player of this deck. Maybe I'm biased. Yeah, I am. But still, I can be objective. I think Sky Striker and Gage can come back to one. I played the deck a bunch, and I played against it a few times. It's not that consistent in all situations. It would need something like this to make it consistent to be rogue. Like, it's being power corrupt, like, a little bit. Obviously not a huge mix, because it's not that old of a deck. But you don't see it, like, placing in tournaments anywhere. And this would just get it to the point where people could still play it without it being broken like it was. Yeah, I mean, yeah. honestly, like, I've been against Sky Strikers plenty of times, especially, you know, on the lower ranks where the Rogue is at, and uh, it, doesn't, it doesn't do a lot. <laughs> like, it, it really doesn't. So I think adding that for consistency purposes, I mean, even bringing it back to two, maybe? Bold. I, I, that yeah, that's bold, but uh, I don't even think it would really change much. Like, I, I don't think Sky Strikers really have enough right now, and I think that would just give it that little extra push that it needs to get better. Yeah, I've played against it a few times, and I will say, at its point now, it is still decently strong, but it is clearly power crept by what other decks are doing at the moment. So. I, I feel like it is doable to have this come back, but I, I honestly doubt it's going to happen, really. Now, uh, what if I told you I had a really uh, spicy take here? Like a like a, like a a bold opinion? A, a bold. A, a hot take, Ooh. per se. Oh. 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 All right. We, we all know the the spiciest card of the 2020 format has been none other than Red Eyes Dark Dragoon, right? I know, in my personal opinion, I can't say there's really any guaranteed thing that's going to happen in Dragoon. And I'm saying, if Dragoon doesn't get banned, Masterpiece can come back. Whoa. Uh, at least to one. Right now. Defend okay, literally. So Masterpiece, at most, can get protection from monster and spell effects. And can, once per turn, banish a continuous spell or trap to destroy a card and field. It's okay. literally a weaker version of Dragoon without a negate. And the same way you can get rid of Dragoon, you can get rid of, you know, Masterpiece with. So if you're about to have a format where Dragoon is the norm, Masterpiece can easily come back. Yeah, I don't know about that much, but uh, sure, yeah. <laughs> My question. If Masterpiece is just a weaker Dragoon, why would you want it to come back in a Dragoon format? Because it's weaker? Okay, no. yeah. But I'm just saying, if Dragoon's not banned, like... Well, I think anything attack. weaker should come back then at that point. If yeah. anything's weaker than it's hit, it should come back if the other one's not hit. Yeah. And that's true. So, I, I myself have a... I got a, I got a hot take. I got a bold prediction here. So, last right. ban list, we were all like, what? Harpy's Feather Duster? Even after we saw the leaks for Max Gold, we were like, no. No. So, what's a very similar card, but possibly a little bit more broken than Harpy's Feather Duster, depending on your deck? Heavy Storm. So, you could get a couple pluses out of this in the chance that, like, your deck wants their spells and traps destroyed. Sure. Not every deck has that, though. But, it's still not too out of the realm, I think, that they'd bring it back to one, because Harpies came back to the one. Uh, I, I, I don't know. I mean... I think the only reason Heavy Storm wouldn't come back is because you can potentially plus off the effect, too. Because then I feel like you all of a sudden have decks that are looking just to find a way to turbo out Heavy Storm, plus off that, and then keep going. But are they going to put in the work to search out or turbo out a non-searchable normal spell card? Yes. Oh, okay. I mean, some people might, to be fair, so... Team Samurai be like, <laughs> Dragoon being in our current meta and playing against it for the past couple months I think Dragoon will be gone. I think it will be gone I think they're going to get rid of it I don't think Konami is going to care about the marketing because of the player base that hates Dragoon Think about how many Nexus matches you've been in where someone pulls out Dragoon and you surrender or how many matches you've seen where Dragoon is pulled out and then someone surrenders. Like, no one wants to play against the card. I think Konami's going to be smart and get rid of the card. And I definitely think Masterpiece could still come back, even if Dragoon is gone. 
that what's the link card that brings it out it's like surf for anaconda i don't think that's the problem because think about it if your goon is gone in general then that card opens up for tons of fun combos and like i don't know it's just a fun card to mess around with so i don't think we should ban that i think your goon is going to be gone no no the way you're talking there is how it should happen and like or that's why i ended up down here in our opinions here but like it's they do care about that marketing. They especially right now in COVID yeah. year, like there's not events happening, so they don't really care about the player base as much as keeping their company alive. So they need to sell out of all those tins that they can because they get rid of that. The tins are almost like worthless in comparison. Like that's the only thing that's more expensive than the tin right yeah. now. And like masterpiece, I don't think could come back if Dragoon gets gone too. It'd be like no reason yeah. for that. Like as long as it's if Dragoon's there, masterpiece could come back, but not the other way around. And yeah. sadly, uh, Verda Anaconda. Is, it's very good for a bunch of other decks to help them be more uh, competitive, but that's what they're probably going to hit if they do hit any of it yeah. because it's the one thing that turbos it out. I don't know if either one is going to get hit. I think if they hit something, it's going to be Dragoon. I don't think really? they're going to go the extra step. Yeah, I, I truly don't think they're going to go the extra step to uh, take out Ver Anaconda. I think they're just going to go straight for the source and hit Dragoon. Have you seen um, the Needle Fiber hits? They've hit... <laughs> Over a handful of tuners just to not hit that card, and that card's older. Let's see, there's like, what, five or six tuners on the ban list because of Halky Fibrax, I think. And that's weaker than Dragoon. That's true. That's true. Because literally, like, Halky Fibrax is just an extender. Dragoon is a boss monster. Yep, you're right, you're right, you're right, you got me. But anyways, uh, yeah, so like, I think they'll hit the Vernanaconda, sadly. They shouldn't. They, I, that's my. I, I'm saying yeah, it now. If it's um, wishlist, they wouldn't. But not. I definitely think they will for time being if they hit any of the combo. That's saying if. So if you enjoyed watching today, uh, please leave a like, leave a comment, and roast us of our own content. opinions, please. And tell us yours too. If this, yeah. uh, if you're seeing it before it's uh, the band list is out, and if it's uh, after, tell us how wrong we were. Yeah, it's probably yeah, extreme yeah, for sure. For sure. And then tell us anything you'd like to see us do as well. And uh, any bold opinions, like I'll be commenting back on. The minute they, the minute they drop, if I'm there, I'm commenting back on any bold opinions, and we're we're gonna have a conversation about it. If you see any comment that makes no sense and says Dragoon should be banned immediately, and that's the only part of the combo they'll hit, you know who said it. It's Carson. Yeah, yeah, it might have been me. It might have been me. <laughs> All, right. All right. Again, we've been Hardfield Yugi, and thank you again for checking us out.